Lord, turn me from darkness to light. Lord, turn me from the power of Satan to God so that my sins will be forgiven and you will uphold me with your righteous right hand and the seed of God will be in me that will keep me above sin power so that I receive an inheritance among those who are sanctified by faith in you. Oh Lord Jesus, open my eyes. Open my heart to understand you your word your ways pray the prayer in the name of jesus open your mouth viewers all over the world it's prayer time begin to pray that prayer ask the lord to open your eyes to open your heart that you may understand him and his ways let the lord take you from darkness to light through the ministry through the grace of god through the church let the power of god take you from the power of darkness. As you connect to the grace of God here. As you connect to the ministry. As you connect to the church. I want to tell you the grace has been given. The wonderful grace for that mission in your life. To open your eyes. To enlighten your understanding. To turn you from darkness to light. To turn you from the power of Satan unto God. Where your sins are forgiven. And you receive a place among those who are sanctified by faith in Jesus. Your life will never remain the same. As you connect to the grace of God right now, your life will never remain the same. As you believe in Jesus, your life will never remain the same. Let your sins be forgiven. Let your eyes be opened. Let every misunderstanding you have, let it be cleared. Let the Lord begin to give you understanding now. By the power of the Holy Spirit, I begin to pray for you, viewers. I begin to pray for you. Let your heart be touched by the gospel you receive now. Let your spirit be touched. Let your faculties be enlightened. Let your faculties be influenced. Let your eyes be opened. Let your heart understand what the will of God is. Let your darkness be turned to light. Leave darkness now and come into the light. Go out of darkness now and come into the light. Be taken from the power of Satan and be conveyed into the power of God. Let your sins be forgiven. Be transformed in your heart. Be transformed in your spirit. That thought of sin, that habit of sin, let it die now. Let it die now. Let it leave you. Be delivered from it. That practice of sin, that practice of darkness, that way of life, let the hand of God stop you so that you make a turn. And you start going the Lord's way for the rest of your life. Open your mouth, begin to pray. Open your mouth, begin to pray. Let the Lord change you. Let the Lord touch your life. Let the Lord influence your life. I see a change coming to you. It is the will of God that you are sanctified. It is the will of God that you are justified. Through the finished works of Christ. The blood of Jesus has done it for you. The blood of Jesus has paid the price. That is the ransom, Jesus Christ. The price has been paid for our sins. Now, if you believe in your heart that Jesus is your Lord and Savior, and you confess with your mouth that God raised him from the dead, you shall be saved. How can you be saved when you have not believed? How can you believe when you have not heard? How can you hear when you have not been preached to? How can you be preached to when someone is not sent? So the Bible says, how beautiful are the feet of those who bring the good news to us. The good news has come to you. Open your heart. Leave darkness and turn to light. Open your heart. Open your heart. I see Jesus coming in. The Lord said, I knock at the door of your heart. If you open, I shall come in and be with you. Begin to open your hearts right now. Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Lord Jesus, come into my spirit. Lord Jesus, come into my soul. Lord Jesus, come into my health. Lord Jesus, come into my marriage. Lord Jesus, come into my relationship. Lord Jesus, come into my business. Lord Jesus, come into my life. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Begin to pray. Open your mouth. It's prayer time. Talk to the Lord. Talk to the Lord in response to the gospel you have received. Talk to Jesus. 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 He has given a mission for your life. The mission of my calling. The mission of all genuine servants calling is the mission for your soul. 
is not an issue whether it is Paul or whether it is Apollos, but God in all, but Christ in all. We have a role each to play. One may be sent to sow, one may be sent to water. God will make it grow. In either way, let your eyes be open. In either way, let your understanding be enlightened. Come out from darkness, be turned to the light. Come out from the power of Satan, be turned to God. The mission is for God, not for us. So in either way, let God's purpose be achieved. Let God's purpose be achieved. I begin to pray for you. Wherever you are, wherever you are, I begin to pray for you. Begin to talk to Jesus now. Lord, sanctify me. Lord, change my heart. Wash away my sins. Cleanse me from all sin and unrighteousness. Give me the grace to serve you. Take me from darkness to light. Let me understand your ways. Let me understand your ways. Show me your ways. That I may walk in you. Talk to Jesus. Open your mouth. Begin to make that decision now. I have decided to follow Jesus. I will not turn back. I am leaving the works of darkness. I am leaving the works of darkness. Begin to make that decision. I am leaving the works of darkness. I have decided to turn to Jesus. I am leaving the works of darkness. I am entering into the works of light. I am leaving darkness. I am entering into light. Whatever is the works of darkness, I leave it. I put a stop. I engage in the works of God. I engage in the works of God. I engage in the works of God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ we pray. So when your eyes are open. When you are turned from darkness to light. When you are turned from the power of Satan to the power of God. You will see what Ephesians 4 verse 11 says. You are no more working for Satan. You start working for who? For who? For God. You start working for God. Are you getting me? And you don't see God like God needs you. You see yourself like you need God. Ephesians chapter 4 from verse 11. It was he who gave some to be apostles, some to be prophets, some to be evangelists, and some to be pastors and teachers. Let's see this divine call. What for? To prepare God's people for works of service so that the body of Christ may be built up. You see that if you were working with Satan, you start working out with who? God. You are now prepared for the works of service for God, not for Satan. God needs your services. Am I talking to you? Viewers all over the world, God needs your services. In him, say in him. To prepare God's people for works of service so that the body of Christ may be built up. Until we all reach unity in the faith and in the knowledge of the Son of God and become mature, attaining to the whole measure of the fullness of Christ. It's okay. So now you start growing better in Christ. Whatever you have and you can do, you do it better in Christ. No more in darkness. The works of darkness, Satan controls. Satan's power controls. The works of light, God's power what? Controls. Say, I refuse to be controlled by Satan's power. I refuse to be controlled by the power of Satan. Every spiritual force influencing my life negatively. Today I make a decision of faith. And a decision of faith. And a proclamation of faith. I have decided. To serve Jesus. And completely. To remain in him. You forces of darkness. Demonic influence. Operating in my life. I stop you in the name of Jesus. I stop you in the name of Jesus. I stop you in the name of Jesus. Say, I've taken a decision for light and a decision against darkness. I've taken a decision for Jesus and a decision against Satan. I've taken a decision for righteousness and a decision against sin power. 
have taken a decision for truth and a decision against falsehood. Every work of darkness, every spiritual pressure that has been influencing my life, I refuse you in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth, begin to make that decision now. Begin to deny, denounce the works of darkness, the power of darkness. Begin to separate yourself from them. Whatever is of darkness, begin to denounce it. Whatever is of Satan, begin to denounce it. I denounce the fruits of darkness. The unfruitful works of darkness. I denounce it. I separate myself. 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 I separate myself in the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, whatever connects me with Satan, I separate myself. In the name of Jesus, in the blood of Jesus, whatever connects me to demons, whatever connects me to the kingdom of darkness, I separate myself. In the name of Jesus, in the blood of Jesus, whatever is not of God in my life, I begin to command it to come out. In the name of Jesus, in the blood of Jesus, open your mouth, begin to separate yourself. Open your mouth, begin to separate yourself. The unfruitful works of darkness, begin to denounce them. Begin to come against them. Begin to come against them. Begin to come against them. Everything that is done by Satan, the desires of Satan, the desires of darkness, come against them in the name of Jesus. Begin to denounce them. The spirit of disobedience, come against it. Come against it in the name of Jesus. Come against it in the name of Jesus. Every spirit that is not of God influencing your heart that has been influencing your heart to do what does not please God begin to disagree with that spirit 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 open your mouth viewers all over the world begin to pray disagree with it you spirit of sin, you spirit of disobedience, you spirit of hatred, you spirit of failure, you spirit of lust, you spirit of anger, you spirit, whatever spirit, unclean spirit, begin to name them, name them, name them. Come against them in the name of Jesus Christ. Come against them. Say, I leave you, Satan. I leave your power. I will no more be under your influence. You will not control me. You spirit of darkness, you will not influence me anymore. Begin to separate yourself. This is the anointed prayer you are receiving from Jesus. This is the anointed prayer you are receiving from Jesus. Begin to separate yourself. Whatsoever you know was in darkness, come out of it now. Begin to denounce it in the name of Jesus. Come out of it. Come out of it. Make a decision. Come out of it now. Be bold to confess it with your mouth. Say it to Satan and to his face. Tell him, Satan, you will no more influence me. You, that spirit that has been controlling me, I come against you. I come against you. I come against you. I come against you. I come against you in the name of Jesus. I come against you, spirit of addiction. Spirit of addiction. I come against you. Spirit of anger. Spirit of pride. Spirit of pride, I come against you. Spirit of lust, spirit of fornication, spirit of adultery, spirit of stealing, I come against you. Every spirit that is not of God, come against it. Come against it. Come against it in the name of Jesus. Spirit of affliction, I come against you. I separate myself with you. Spirit of wrong ministration, I come against you. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. This is a real battle. The Bible says in Ephesians chapter 6, from verse 10 to 20, we wrestle against principalities and power, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in high places. Yes, these spirits have waged a war against your faith. Revelation 12, verse 17. And the dragon was filled with rage and he went to wage war. He decided to wage war. Against all those who obey God's commands and have their faith in Jesus. The moment you take a decision for Jesus, it's a warfare. You have signed a deal for a warfare. 
and that warfare victory is yours i say victory is yours i say victory is yours say every spirit that is against my life to hold me captive the bible says in ephesians 4 from verse 1 through 11 that by the grace of god given to the church captivity is held captive wherefore he saith, when he ascended up on high he led captivity what captive and gave gifts unto men listen to me look me here church viewers look at me let me stand here for this one your eyes should be opened by this before jesus will call me as his servant before jesus will call you to be a child of god before jesus will call you to become part of the kingdom of god satan has been defeated he said i saw satan fall like lightning so i give you what power are you hearing me to trample on satan and to overcome all his powers and nothing shall by enemies harm you before god we call his servant and put him to preach to you and pray for you he has given a solution to your problems so you don't approach god with doubt he said he went on high jesus entered heaven see what he did first he held captivity what captive then now he said you come go and free my people now i have dealt with those foolish people there go and free my people go and free my people when you come under the grace of god i tell you come with one thing only believe that is why people used to say this is my last bus stop majority go back free because their belief is correct they know that god is working the power that god has given here that enemy must be what defeated when you believe like that it works well yes you don't come and test or doubt no before god will call somebody that a true apostle eh he has called you and given you power above the captivity of your life. So the grace of God and the calling of God is a solution to man's problem. That is why you need a true servant of God in your midst. God can never leave the world without a true servant. If God takes you, he will send another one. Before taking you, he has already prepared your replacement. Eh? Huh? You saw him planning to take Elijah. He discussed with Elijah. Before he would even take him, he said, Elisha will replace you. When Paul was going, he handed over to who? Timothy. He said, take care of the church. God can never leave his people without a genuine servant. So you need a genuine servant in your midst. From generation to generation those captivity over your life they are held captive by the grace of god everything that the devil has done in your life say everything satan has done in my life every spiritual hindrance break in the name of jesus break in the name of jesus say everything that is not going well in my life spiritually in the name of jesus christ i command you to break i command you to break lose your grip Lose your hold. Break in the name of Jesus. Break in the name of Jesus. Say every spiritual influence over my life. You captivity. You are held captive. You are held captive. You are held captive. You are held captive. In the name of Jesus. In the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the blood of Jesus. Say every captivity in my life. Break in the name of Jesus. By the reason of the anointing, every yoke shall be broken. Say every yoke in my life, in the name of Jesus, I command you, break, 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 break. Open your mouth in faith, begin to break it, break it, break it. Command it to break. Every yoke in your life, every captivity in your life, let it break. Let it break in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Let it break. Let it break. Command it to break. Command it to break. Every captivity in your marriage. Every captivity in your job. 
every captivity in your career, every captivity in your health, in your body, in your finances, in your ministry, begin to break it, break it. Break it in the name of Jesus. Break it, break it. Viewers all over the world, viewers all over the world, begin to break it. Partners all over the world, every captivity in your life, I command it to break now. As you touch the screen, I command it to break in the name of Jesus. I command it to break in the name of Jesus. I command it to break in the name of Jesus. I command it to break in the name of Jesus. I command it to break in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth, begin to break it. Break it, every captivity. Break that captivity. Break it, break it, break it. That demonic barrier be broken. That demonic barrier be broken. Open your mouth. Break it, break it. Open your mouth, begin to break it. Wherever I am tied spiritually, I lose myself. 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 I lose my marriage. I lose my health. I lose my career. I lose my finances. I lose my health. Open your mouth, begin to lose yourself. Lose yourself. Lose yourself. Lose yourself. Lose yourself. Whatever the devil has tied, let it be loose in the name of Jesus. Let it be loose in the name of Jesus. Let it be loose in the name of Jesus. Let it be loose in the name of Jesus. Begin to pray. Lose yourself. Lose yourself. I lose myself from the underworld. I lose myself from the kingdom of darkness. I break every chain that connects me to failure. That connects me to limitation. That connects me to nightmare. Every satanic chain, I break it in the name of Jesus. I break it in the name of Jesus. I break it in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Begin to break it. Break it. Lose yourself. Satan, I disconnect myself with you. Whatever you have used to connect me to your kingdom, I break that connection. 